Hey there, Carol Ann. I'm glad you're here. We were having a bit of a debate in the office regarding Dr. Charles Forgey's Reedy algorithm. Do you happen to know the origin of the term? Reedy? Thank you, Sparky, for your question. Actually, it's very timely. As you might know, I'm currently writing a series on the blog uh, called uh, Reedy Algorithm Demystified. And the purpose of this series is to talk about uh, um, the Ricci algorithm in terms of what's its origin, and that was the purpose of part one. In part two, uh, I will go into the internals of the algorithm, explaining how it works, so that um, hopefully we'll provide some uh, uh, tips and some ideas, some better ideas for practitioners um, of, of business rules that need to use it. And then uh, I'm trying to convince Carlos to do a part three uh, on, on the blog series to go into uh, more um, technical aspects of the algorithm. So uh, instead of explaining what was the origin of, uh, of the name up front, I decided to poll the audience but because I think there is a misconception as to what's the origin of the name. And um, I was actually very... Um, pleased by the response of the community and how many people came to our site to vote. So thank you very much to all of you for your participation. Uh, in, um, uh, in, in the answers that I provided, as you guessed, uh, there were a couple of phony answers. Uh, obviously, Charles Foggy is not inspired by uh, shopping malls or, or uh, I think it, it was more believable to think it, it might have named something after uh, uh, a piece of an astrolab. But the reality is that it, it's really related to the network. So there were different uh, origin for, for the network, um, Latin, Italian or, or English. And um, uh, obviously the, the main um, uh, the main response or, or the answer that was the most voted is from the Latin. That was actually what I, I, I thought was the right answer. Uh, initially, uh, when I started in business rules and I learned about the Ritchie algorithm, uh, I, um, I heard three different definitions that made a lot of sense. The first one is the one that in great majority you voted for. Uh, maybe because you thought it was the right answer or because you checked it on Wikipedia, which uh, for once is not exact uh, on the answer, on the information that's provided. Uh, so it, it's, even though it makes a very credible definition and, and Charles will say that it's actually a good, um, a good definition, uh, it's not the origin of Ritty. Uh, the calm uh, was the other way I heard about the Riti, um, the, the origin of the name Riti. So calm, uh, Riti in Latin means both the network and, and the calm. Uh, and the calm does describe quite well the first part of the Riti algorithm that I will describe in more depth in part two, which is this discrimination tree where we um, lay out the conditions per class and, uh, and, and go through discrimination in, in different ways. Um, but that, you know, it made sense, but it's not the right answer either. The third possibility uh, was the comb, but this time in terms of a honeycomb, not as a neat structure of a tree, but rather uh, a, a network that's more uh, three-dimensional, if you will, uh, with more uh, substance uh, internally. And that made also a very credible uh, definition, but it's wrong too. Uh, the Italian definition of a fishing net or network is also fairly close to it, to, to the Latin, of course, um, but it's not correct. So the, the, the real definition that was given to me directly by Charles is actually um, this network, this mesh, which is of a, um, a living nature. And he did like this definition because when the facts get propagated inside this um, structure uh, and, and the rules fire, there's a little bit of activity and some uh, update propagation uh, of lists that, that grow and, and shrink um, as a result of the propagation of the facts. 
and this is what really does look like this living substance or, or does carry this uh, uh, this idea that it's alive somehow so the definition of this mesh of um, blood vessels and and fibers and all those things of a living living substance is actually the correct definition so well uh, for those of you that got it right congratulations it was actually not an easy answer uh, definitely not uh, what everybody expected actually less than 10 percent of you are there uh, got it right so if you're one of them you should feel very proud uh, that you know the origin of the name uh, and now I hope that we're much uh, more people knowing the definition of the name so let's continue spreading the uh, some historical facts let's propagate them uh, to uh, continue with the retail analogy analogy and uh, thank you very much for uh, participating in this um, uh, in this survey in this poll thank you bye Seriously? Wow. We even googled it. Wait till I tell the team. Thank you so much for setting us straight. Please tell Carlos we said hello. Bye now.